If today you are still struggling to bench your body weight for reps, you click on the right video, my brother. Welcome to Mr. Potato Awesome Fitness Tips. Tip number one, squeeze the body as hard as you possibly can until your knuckles get white. You probably have enough muscle mass to be benching a hell of a lot more. But strength is not just about muscle. Strength is a neurological adaptation. So you need to focus, squeeze as hard as you possibly can. So your peripheral nervous system informs the rest of the body. We are about to move some heavy shit. Shit, baby. The same idea applies to every other lift. If you are deadlifting or squatting, sink those fucking toes into the ground and feel your body pressing against the world. Tip number dos, muchacho. Stack the barbell in line with your joints. Let me grab a PVC pipe so I can show you. Instead of holding the barbell like this, putting unnecessary pressure on your wrists, just make this light adjustment. Boom! In line with the wrist. If you do this correctly, instead of the lockout of your bench press looking like this, it'll look like this. Fully engaging your triceps and allowing you to express your strength optimally and with less risk of injury. Since the tendons on your forearms are not in a stretch position, it reduces the stress on your wrists, elbows and shoulder joints. Samba no advice. I bet you heard that if you bench press with a wide grip, you are emphasizing chest. And if you bench press with a narrow grip, you are emphasizing triceps. But before deciding with what grip width you are going to be benching, based on your hypertrophy goals, see how your fucking shoulder feels when you are bench pressing. If a wider grip is easier on the shoulder for you, Use a wider grip. If a narrower grip is easier on your shoulders, then use a narrower grip. Me personally, I do close grip bench presses exclusively. And the tits, bro, they grew just fine. So before prioritizing hypertrophy on your chest, on your triceps, or even strength for that matter, prioritize injury prevention because you ain't building shit if you get injured. Bonus tip for my brothers that bench press at home and can't afford to be stapled by the bar in the bench. So I can't afford to be going to failure. So what I do to always know that I'm introducing enough stimulus to keep progressing over time is to apply a count, a tempo to my bench pressing. When I'm done in the eccentric portion of the lift, when I go down, I count, I'll count to one and a half. One, half. And then on the concentric part, I count to half. Half. <laughs> when the count starts to go like this, one, half, half. One, half. One, half. One, half. One, half. One, Two, you already lost a lot of velocity in the barbell to stimulate both hypertrophy and strength gains. More than that, might be optimal if you were in a rush to make your gains yesterday. But if you're shooting for longevity and make significant, safe gains, that's the way to go, baby. So fourth and final tip of the day, before starting to ramp up for a heavy session of bench presses, prime the fucking muscles involved. And those are the triceps, the chest, the front delts and the back. These are not warm-ups. These are activation sets designed to prime the muscles by sending blood to all the joints and all the muscles that are going to be overloaded by the bench press. And the idea here is pretty simple. The extra blood in these regions generates compression, exactly like gravel adds compression to cement, turning it into concrete. Compression makes things structurally stronger. And you don't need to go that far to understand that compression does these things. Put on wrist wraps, elbow wraps, knee wraps, and you see the power of compression without needing to take my word for it. The extra stabilization provided by compression will allow you to lift heavier, increasing your volume, and not only that, your fast twitch muscle fibers, the strongest muscle fibers that you have in your body, they are only recruited through a stable position. That's why having excellent technique is the best way for you to grow and build strength because the muscle fibers that are responsible for the majority of your hypertrophy and strength potential they are simply not recruited if you are unstable so in this priming activation sets for the back chest triceps and front delts and use 20 to 30 reps for two to three sets it needs to be extremely light you shouldn't be feeling the burn and be getting gassed out only the blood being pumped to the region me personally i love to use the cable triceps push down. I think there's no better exercise to prime your triceps and your elbow joint. I go for the pec deck, but instead of going like this, I grab the handle like this 
and I close my arms here. Make sure that your elbows are in the same position that it's supposed to be in the bench press because you can feel a better contraction in your chest when you do so. And for the lats and upper back, a good seated cable row. One common misconception that people have about the cable row, and not, not just the cable row, about any row in general, is that the row only targets the upper back and not the lats. People usually think that vertical pulling is what targets the lats, but the lats are responsible for both shoulder adduction and shoulder extension. When your shoulders go behind you, it's your lats that are doing that. So rows are awesome exercises to develop your back and to prime and to target the entire back with a single exercise. But now that you know more tricks to increase your bench press, you owe it to me to hit some PRs, motherfucker, and internalize that the most important message in this entire video is longevity, it's injury prevention. I don't want you to be that lame ass motherfucker that says I used to bench this, I used to bench that No, I wanna know how much you bench today, motherfucker What you benched in the past doesn't matter And if you're still just a motherfucking pup Take note, cause you ain't gonna be invincible forever Take care of your fucking joints, take care of your fucking muscles It's not just about being strong and looking good, motherfucker And I guarantee you when you're in your 40s, your 50s, and your 60s, the time of your life where lifting will be the most important to maintain your health and maintain you functioning perfectly in society. You wish that you listen to me today. So all hail the us, brother! Almighty Broding, the one who sees all lifting and knows all lifting, that bestow upon us thy gift of gains. Stay on the iron path, my brother!